Good morning, everybody. So, got this 410G again. Um, problem we're having is the, the arms here for the pilot control towers, whichever you want to call them. The problem we're having is this one here. So, we're driving down the road and you hit a bump and it just kind of drops down like that. So, this is kind of pull them down so you can operate and then you push them up like this so you can turn the seat so you can't you can't turn the seat because you hit it with it like that so put it up and then you can turn so problem have they're having is when they're driving down the road facing the other direction it'll drop and then you go to turn around and you can't turn around because it's in the way and you have to lift it up I reach behind you lift it up to uh to be able to rotate the seat around to, to turn so um these have gas cylinders inside them and that is the part number for the gas cylinder mm. so that's what they look like so i'm going to take it apart we are going to change out the gas cylinder to keep it up I got two of them. This one doesn't seem to be a problem. It's staying up, but I'm sure once one goes, the other one's right behind it. Uh, I'll probably change that out later, but change this one out today. Squeak. Anyway, so it's got three three screws that hold this bottom piece on, I believe. I haven't had this apart yet, but. You got the one screw there, the one there, and then the other one right there. So I think I'd take those off and this will drop down and then it will be in there somewhere, I believe. Um, I'll have to find out because like I said, I haven't had this really apart yet. So it'll be new to me too. Oh, it's that pulling these screws up. Sorry for the squeaking, but everything squeaks in here. Our other back hole doesn't have the pilot controls like this. It's just got the standard controls right in front, and they just come out of like a like a pedestal in the front here. They don't move like these ones do. There's that. Slides off right over there. Gotta be easy. It's gonna be some type of metric. So there's a bolt to one side, and then around the corner here. There's a gas shock right there. So, there's the other bolt up top. Look like they're, I don't know, 12 or 13. Yeah, they're gonna be metric. So, you got the uh, metric grading on them. Alright, these should be 13 millimeter. Get the bottom one. We need a wrench for that one. Small wrench and a 
It's got a nut on there. The hard part's going to be actually getting that back in that bottom hole. It's not really lining up. What I might have to do is there is a stop. So right there, there's a stop on it. I bet I got to take that stop off. I can go past the stop to get the gas cylinder back on. back there too. Oh yeah. Oh, because then I wouldn't get to walk back to the box like I always do. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, that takes a lot more force to move it now. If I push record, I did. So, yeah, that's it. It takes a lot more. A lot more force, they're gonna complain about that a bit. <laughs> the one isn't like the other one. Yeah, that's why I got both gas cylinders. Like I said, this one still still holds. It's just doesn't take as much as this one does. But. Let's slip this cover back on.
Ain't gonna drop down now. So. Kind of a, kind of a quick, easy uh, repair. Uh, so this, this, this back is kind of nice. Uh, it's got a pattern switcher in it, so you just kind of hit the switch and you can run it in backhoe mode or excavator mode. Uh, personally, I'm better at backhoe mode than excavator mode because I'm just in a backhoe more than in an excavator. And it, it switches them around. Uh, I can show you the difference. It's not, it's not huge. Um, the real difference is the the main boom and the stick boom crowd boom whichever one it is um, so with it on backhoe mode uh, this this up and down controls the main boom here and this back and forth controls the in and out on uh, the stick boom um, but with it in excavator mode it's backwards so this back and forth is the stick boom and this back and forth is the main boom um, so I mean you can do it because I'm, I'm used to backhoe mode because working for the town you basically always have the backhoe you don't always have an excavator so I just like I say spent more time in the backhoe so I got used to the backhoe and then the excavator I purchased has a pattern switcher in it as well, so I can just set it to the backhoe mode. So I don't have to learn excavator unless I'm in something that I can't switch the pattern in. And I've had to use an excavator that I didn't have the pattern switcher in for a, using it with a rock breaker or a hammer on it. And I was a little fumbly because, like I say, everything's backwards. You get used to it one way, and then you got to relearn how to do it the total opposite way. Um, so it can get difficult. Um, so I could show you what it does. Turn the blower down. Make sure the radio is off. I don't want to get flagged for having a song on the radio. Um, so I'll show it to you in excavator mode. Like I say, excavator mode. This is going to control the uh, the main boom. Let's see, that's a main boom up and down. Turn it sideways so you can see a little better. So here's this one. It's a main boom up and down. This is your bucket curl extension or out. Show you the feet. So this one here, I'm not sure what that one is. Right, that's so that's the extender hoe. So. This one over here is the the jaw for the thumb, not the jaw. It's down. Backwards is up. So over here. Get this one, that's going to be your in and out. Now we'll switch it to backhoe mode. I'll show you, it's pretty much the opposite. So now I'm on this one. Up, down. Same thing over here. This is in and out. The same controls for the rest of it. So the only thing that it actually changes is, I guess, say the. Uh, the two booms, which one runs on which side. The uh, the turn is still the same. It's just which stick does which. Don't really know why they would do that, because you know, why not just have something that's everything? But people got to be different, I guess. I think people used to call them like cat controls and John Deere controls. I don't know if they're the ones who who did it or not, but. lock and we're all done so 
and kind of an easy repair. Yep, thought I'd kind of show you. I'll show a little video. But anyway, hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.